Good evening. It's... What? Uh, good afternoon. Gee, I thought I was awful let out. That's the last time I buy a watch off the street. Good afternoon. This is Downtown Update, and I'm your afternoonly news anchor, Chip Nestle. This is a new show... Um, yeah, that's, that's not spelled correctly. I'm sorry, can we, can we try that again? Welcome to Downtown Update. I'm your afternoonly news anchor, Chip Nestle. This is... Ah, uh, that's... That's still wrong. Can we just uh, skip the CG? Get, get rid of it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Chip Nestle, news anchor. You, viewer, watch the news. Wonderful. I hate Mondays. <clears throat> you may remember a recent announcement by Bill McCartney that his, his organization, Promise Keepers, would no longer be accepting submissions of money for their seminars. They would no longer be charging for admittance to their seminars. After this statement, the Promise Keeper Treasury was recorded to have received a donation of over $4 million. In possibly related news, Kevin Costner announced today that he will no longer be charging for admittance to his films. Some more movie news for you. James Cameron, remember Titanic, that mega screen epic? Well, James Cameron's in trouble with the FCC. We did some investigative reporting to discover what it is that the Federal Control Commission is so worked up about, and it seems that there may be a subliminal message in the end of Titanic, a message that reads, come back and see the film again, maybe the ship won't sink this time. Authorities are still ruling on that. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the theaters, Godzilla, the remade movie, should be out any day now. The combination suspense slash action slash screaming tourist remake has reportedly 98% new footage and 2% new plot, which makes it a 100% new film. What? What? Uh, it seems that Godzilla has been out in theaters for weeks now, and so that last bit of news was not especially uh, newsworthy. I really should get out more. Um, U.S. and national news. Remember the golden rule, the one you learned in school as do unto others as you would have others do unto you? Well, that's being looked at as possibly a little out of date and not very politically correct. So a petition is out to change the golden rule to something more up to date. And the new, rule, <clears throat> the new golden rule will go as follows. I have more money than you do, so shut up. This proposal has apparently gained a lot of favor among the upper classes. Congress had an interesting day yesterday. The Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, got up and announced a new bill which was extremely historic, a pay cut for all congressmen, the first in the 200 years of U.S. history. It took a while to settle things down, but once the uproar had been quelled, they took a closer look at the paper Mr. Gingrich was holding, and it turned out that he had been holding the paper upside down. That means the bill was for a pay raise again. Oh, good, you follow that. Well, the bill had still been announced, and it had to be voted on, and another historic occasion happened because the bill, the bill was voted down 168 to 0. The reason why this is historic is because there are currently only 122 members of Congress. Gas prices are on the rise, thanks to the lack of fossil fuels. You may remember, I don't, I wasn't around, but back in the 30s, our government said that the fossil fuel source, which we were using for our 200 million automobiles, would last forever. Well, someone recently asked Bill Clinton how a fossil fuel source supposedly going to last forever could be depleted in the next 20 years. He said, quote, whoops. You heard it here first, folks, on Downtown Update. That's a whoops from Bill Clinton on the gas crisis. On a possibly lighter note, the world-renowned Denver Nuggets are trying to make a comeback. They had a practice game yesterday, which they lost. Uh, more specifically, they lost this practice game 88-6. to this latest loss was against the North Jeffco JV Middle School team, the Fighting Bumblebees. Finally, we here at Downtown Update have something we finally call the Oh Really segment, where we take an actual news headline or story that I do not make up and bring it to you for, well, you'll get the idea. The Oh Really segment for today comes from the January 28th issue of The Oregonian. The headline reads as follows, and I quote, Scientists see quakes in L.A. future. Now that is a bit of investigative reporting. Scientist quakes LA future. Is that amazing or what? They were probably up all night with that story. What a scoop. I'm sure that more news is happening even as we sit here staring at one another, but that's all I've got written down in front of me. So it has been fun. I enjoyed talking with you. This is Downtown Update. I'm your afternoonly, evening, afternoonly news anchor, Chip Nestle. Until next time, we'll see you.